Welcome to part four of the Wally build. Today we're going to be building his neck and eyes. So I got all the parts printed here. Um, I have done some cleanup prior to this just to get all the parts to actually um, fit where they're supposed to. I would definitely recommend doing that so you're not smashing anything in there and then not able to get it back out. So make sure everything fits in there um, pretty easily. Hopefully, my, my printer's been having some issues lately. But if you can get your printer um, to print pretty good, you shouldn't have these issues anyway. I'd maybe even consider um, like downsizing these by like half a percent or one percent, just to help them actually fit in the spots. Um, so, because you can easily you can easily drill these out, versus it's a lot harder to actually clean all these edges up um, to get them to fit correctly. So I would recommend uh, doing something like that. Um, I just went ahead and threw them on a sander and just kind of sanded them and. Um, took a knife and just kind of scratched the edges off to make them uh, more rounded versus the sharpness because um, those those points don't fit very well inside of here inside of these other parts just because the printer can't make super hard corners you know they're gonna it's gonna be a little bit rounded so helping just take those corners off really helps to um, get the parts to fit in here easier um, so. one of the eyes is in here um, I also like I said make sure you fit your parts because like for this one right here I got this piece stuck in here and I I'm not going to try to get it back out because I already broke one and I don't want to reprint it again. So we're just going to leave it and go with it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to pull this together and then I'm going to take it apart um, somewhat and then paint everything. Um, I'm going to fit all the parts that press fit into each other. I think we're going to put all those together and then paint them um, together so that when we add paint we don't make it so that we can't fit everything together anymore. Um, I'm also not going to put all the servos in here today uh, just because I don't have that many. And I don't really want to, I don't want to have the eyes and everything moving as much as the uh, creator of this. Because I don't, I don't need it to. We're going to mostly be driving it around just kind of for show and whatnot. Um, so we're not going to, we're not going to put all those servos and everything. You guys can if you want. All the mounts are here. Just make sure that you put the servos, especially like in parts like that. Um, you want to make sure you put the servo in there before you put everything together. I don't know my camera's not focusing real great, but. Um, so the servo actually goes in here. And then this piece right here will actually go um, down on top of it. So then it would fit in there like that. Um, and then that pushes all the way down there. So make sure you put that servo in there before you do that. Or make it so it's a really nice, easy fit. Um, so these, these right here fit pretty easily together. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to put the I'm not gonna put servos in them. And try to put push. Um, I'll probably do this by hand. But make sure that when you... Try to push the pressure. Don't push on these, otherwise you'll snap these really easy. Also, there is a nice opening that this leaves. Um, I think this one goes in here a little bit further still. But make sure that once you hit this edge right here, you don't try to push it any further. That's how I broke the first one. But it only goes in here a little ways, and then uh, the servo horn will stick out of here. So don't try to push that in further than it's supposed to. Um, so I'm going to push this in, and then I'll show you how to do the rest of it. All right, so I got that pushed all the way in there. Like I said, there is a gap here. The servo right here will actually just be to allow the um, eyes to actually tilt back and forth. I don't really care about that. Um, I think I will put the servos in the neck neck joints, but I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. We'll assemble everything and I'll show you how all that goes. It's really hard to actually um, grind any of this down to get the parts to fit. So make so I would just do most of your grinding on this one right here. Um, so I just, I just sanded all the edges and then took a knife and kind of rounded all the corners a little more. Um, so I'm going to put this on here and then uh, I'll show you what you guys what that looks like. I forgot, you need to put the eyes in these as well. So I'm going to put the eye in this one first, and then I'll put it back together. Alright, so the eye pieces are really easy to knock out. Um, so I'm going to throw some hot glue on these. Probably right here on the back somewhere, right along this edge where the flat side is. I don't want to make these permanent, so I'm just going to throw a little bit on there. If you guys want to make them more permanent, I would uh, super glue the edges and then throw them together. Um, but if you want to try to replace it with an actual camera later on, I wouldn't glue these in here super hard. All right, so I got that all assembled. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention is there are um, nuts you can put behind these, um, like on this one right here. You can put a you can put nut and then bolt it on here to keep everything together. All my stuff is pretty tight fit, so I'm probably not going to do that right now. Um, you guys can if you want, especially if you have nice loose fitting parts. I would recommend definitely putting the um, nuts and bolts in there. Um, but if they're like super tight fit like this. If you forgot to put the nuts in there, I wouldn't try to take them back apart. Like if they're if they're tight fit, I would just leave it. Um, so that's one whole side assembled. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assemble the other side real quick, 
and then we'll start uh, putting together the neck and everything, see how everything looks. Alright, so the two eyes are fully assembled. Um, I'm not going to touch these because these are still drying with the hot glue. Hopefully that will hold them good enough, um, but if they fall out, it's fine. Um, so, now we're going to assemble the actual neck parts. This piece right here, which was, I had to print this twice because the first one messed up. And I also, I think I'm going to maybe modify the step file if you guys want to hit me up for it. I'm gonna, or if you guys can yourselves. I'm going to make this back piece uh, thicker just because it was super thin. It's really easy to break off when you're trying to stick the rod through there. Um, so I think I would definitely make this thicker. Um, and I think I will next step file. But once I get this all assembled, I'll just glue that, uh, the broken piece tab back off. Um, but probably making these thicker wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, and then here's the badly done rod. I just ground it off a little bit just to help it fit through there better. Um, so I'll start assembling that and I guess I'm, I'm not gonna throw a servo in there. Like I said, I don't really care. Um, but you would put the servo in there and there's some servo horns that you stick on there and put all the linkages together. Um, so, all right. So when you're assembling this, make sure the servo, um, pieces are pointed down and then you have, um, the other neck piece just like that. So there's a servo that gets bolted in right on this side and then it fits into this side as well. Put that first rod in there, put that one together, and then you'll set this one down on top. And then that will hold all that together with that rod in there. And then next we'll come over here and put it down in the actual top mount of Wally. Um, then, we can run the actual, then we can run the rod through. Let me do that real quick. All right, so that's how that'll look. Um, and that'll be able to go up and down with the actual servo. The next, this piece right here would actually fit in over the top of the servo right there. And then these two special pieces, um, which you glue together over the top of it, will actually have that sit kind of in there. So these will sit in there just like, um, kind of like this, and then allow it to rotate up on top. Now we'll put the actual eyeballs on this piece, just kind of show you guys how that works. And then we're going to take it all back apart and I'll paint that. All right, so there it is, all assembled. Uh, so then that would then um, fit with these special little blocks here. They would be able to go into there. Uh, you would have both of them. Like that. I moved this back and forth a little bit. It was rubbing on some of these spots. So just rub moving it back and forth kind of helps you to show where it's rubbing. And then you can sand those or do whatever. Put it back together, touch it again. I'm going to take all this back apart, paint it, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like after we painted it. Alright, so I just wanted to get in a little update on the painting so um I decided to actually paint these brown underneath um, before we do the spray paint just because I'm hoping that once I spray the gray on that we'll actually be able to um, sand just a tiny bit of gray off and get down to this uh, rust looking color um, so I'm gonna see if this maybe helps get that rust look I'm looking for since I don't have an airbrush or anything I'm actually able to sand like a tiny bit off and kind of get that rust look so I painted some more brown on wherever I could see the old color of red through. And in hindsight, I should not have done this out of red filament. I would recommend doing it out of brown or whatever you want your bottom color to be, honestly. All right, so I finished the last coating of gray on them. And then I took and just did a little bit of sanding on the top. You can't really see it very well. Um, but you can see where I kind of roughed up some spots um, down through the gray into the brown I'd put on. And I do kind of really like the look, so I was able to kind of sand the edges and everything too, um, and let the gray kind of shine through so it looks kind of rusty. Um, so I really did like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff together, uh, put this piece together. All my parts finally painted. Um, here's, you guys already saw these I think. So I just put um, the spinny part on the top. I'm not going to put a servo in this for now. Uh, you guys can if you want. It looks like... You would probably have to hook the servo down in here first and then put this together. It's pretty much just like a little square, square mount behind it. It's pretty easy to get in there. I did have to do a little bit of work um, to get it to fit in there uh, so I could easily take it back out. Um, so these also, these didn't come out looking as good as I was hoping for. They also don't really match the color of the actual rest of Wally, so I think we might have to do a little bit of repainting on that. Um, I guess these ones are a little bit closer, but still uh, not as close of a color match as I was hoping for. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this together now, so, and then this is the other side. So I am going to put a servo on this because this will actually be the one that um, moves his head up and down. So you have your linkage, which I also forgot to paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint this yellow. 
I also need to repaint, uh, reprint this because I uh, split the end of it here when I was putting the screw in that holds down the servo. So I'm going to make that hole a little bit bigger. Maybe add a little bit of reinforcement around that as well. Um, the other side worked just fine though. So I'm going to reprint this, but we're going to use it for now. So pretty much first off, you just need to put your uh, servo down on the bottom hole here. Oops. Uh, just kidding. It goes the other way. So that the round part sticks through the hole on the side there. So that sticks up there like that. Um, and then you'd take the screws, put them down into there, and then on the other side here, this piece, uh, it goes like this, I believe. Um, so you can kind of set this in here, and then it goes this way. And you can see right here, this is where the other side of it mounts. Um, so it's going to go like that, so with the... L going down and then it'll hook onto right there and then onto the servo horn. Alright, so I got everything screwed together here. So those are both screwed down, screwed down here and here. Alright, so you can actually run the wire just right over the top of the servo. So I just ran it right across the top um, and just kind of like play with it until it gets it where the wire is not going to be in the way of putting this uh, rod through. And then it comes out the bottom down there now. Um, so that wire is all hidden and all you have is showing is that. Um, so I'm going to end up repainting this. Uh, and I'll probably end up painting the top of that servo kind of and then the whole entire Wally headpiece will now just fit on like that um, It fits in those two holes there and then if you had a servo like I said earlier It would um, the servo horn would actually go into there So let me put this all together and I'll show you what everything looks like together All right, so that's what Wally looks like so far. Um, so he's got his eyes on there now He's definitely starting to look like an actual Wally which is starting to look really cool um, I think I'm gonna definitely have to get that servo on the bottom I can't get this middle one here to actually move at the moment, so I'm going to have to definitely have to play with that. I might just leave that one and do the servo on the bottom instead. Because um, I think the one on the bottom is going to do the majority of the work. We decided to just go back to the standard arms, not try to do those other ones for now. So in the next video, we'll put his arms on. I'll put that servo on the bottom. And we'll get them all wired up and test them out. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.